Well, Judd, congratulations on ranking title number nine. You've had a few days for it to sink in now. What are your thoughts and reflections looking back on a memorable week in Belfast? Uh, I think it was um, a good week for me overall. I think it was sort of well overdue. Um, I've been playing some good stuff in, a, in, in some previous tournaments before that and I felt like it was maybe just a little bit of luck that wasn't going my way and that probably made the difference in the, in the final against Ronnie. I was probably getting away with um, a few more things than I was against people in sort of previous tournaments. I think sort of my, my whole all-round game was a lot better. My long part in safety, rest play was all sort of come together in that week and probably looking back, I was probably the, the best player over the, over the week. As you say, it all clicked in the final. It was a fantastic final for, for the spectators at the waterfront. Uh, I mean, a, a lot of players fear that that final with Ronnie, or even a first round meeting with Ronnie. But it's one that you seem to you seem to relish that that task. Yeah, I was I always enjoy. I think, um, especially against Ronnie, I think in the final that the atmosphere is always a little bit different compared to anyone else. I think it always gets me up for it just that little bit more. There's slightly less pressure. I'm not expected to win. I can sort of go out and relax a little bit more and that was probably the most relaxed I've ever felt in a final against him. I think I um, just tried to really enjoy it rather than worry about losing and I think in the end it kind of showed at, at the end I, I was able just to sort of step it up when I really needed to. So it's a decade on from your first meeting with, with Ronnie in, in ranking play. I mean, Over that time has, has your mentality changed? Were you kind of overawed at the start? You've, you've kind of always had quite a fearless edge to your game. I've always done well against him. I think some of the games hasn't been sort of the highest standards. I think that one for me, I, I scored a lot heavier and, and my all-round game was a lot better than it probably has been against him. I think um, certainly at the start of my career, even though I beat him a few times, it, it was only, I don't know, just sheer determination really got me through that. I think um, you're under a lot of pressure when you play him at the start, but I think the last couple of times, I lost close last time, 6-5, and this time I've beat him, I think he's just sort of just trying to enjoy it that little bit more and um, maybe put the pressure more on him than it is on me. Much was talked about your ranking title drought. I know you were, you were kind of sick of us asking you about when the next one was going to come. Now it has come, I guess you, you feel that you're, you're leading that, that pack of 20-something players. You feel you're very much at the forefront of that. I think so. I think my, my record is um, certainly above um, anybody else's for, for my age range. I think. Um, it is tough. I think that they're sort of the same players dominating over the past season or two. You've got Mark Selby, Ronnie, Mark Williams winning every event they go in, and they're sort of um, three of the sort of best five or six players of all time. So it's tough to compete with them all the time, but I think consistency wise, I'm getting a lot better. I'm sort of always there or thereabouts at most tournaments in the quarter final stage, and it sort of certainly takes sort of a special performance to beat me recently. Of course, Stephen Hendry. Ronnie O'Sullivan and John Higgins have set the bar so high with how many ranking titles they've won. Do you feel like you can you can come close to the number that they've won, or, or you know, kind of, is there a, is there a, an aim that you that you've set in your mind? Not really. I, I, I haven't really set any real targets. It's just sort of about enjoying it at the moment, and and probably this last one was the most I've ever enjoyed a tournament win. I think um, over the past couple of seasons, I've maybe put too much pressure on myself to go out and win every tournament I'm playing in. So. It was nice to just sort of just play freely and just enjoy it a lot more than I have been doing. I think, um, yeah, I think that there's no reason with the amount of tournaments that I shouldn't be able to sort of get to the 20 mark. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself, but I think um, then, then you're obviously getting to a level that it's only really Mark Selby and Mark Williams are, are near that, that range. And then you're sort of getting to the best of all time with, with Ronnie and John Higgins, Stephen Hendry. So, um, I think for me it's just about enjoying it and trying just to nick the odd tournament here or there and if I, if I suddenly can win two or three tournaments in a season then, then there's no reason uh, in the future why I can't get to maybe 25. The crowd in, at the waterfront were right behind you weren't they all through the week and, and in the final, did that surprise you at all? A little bit yeah, I felt um, it was probably the most support I've had for a long time. I think um, fans in Northern Ireland were, were amazing from the start. I think played a massive help for me in the final. I think whenever you're playing Ronnie, you, you want a little bit of support, which you don't normally get. Um, but for me, it, it wasn't quite 50-50, but I had a lot of support in there. And when, when someone's calling out his name and you've got someone calling your name out back, is sort of a nice feeling and it just sort of brings you up that extra five or 10%. How much of a priority is that for you to, to be a popular name in snooker, not just a, a highly talented individual? I think, um, 
for me is, is important. I think it helps. I think um, obviously you can go about your business winning tournaments without that, but I think when you really need it under, under pressure and maybe you go one frame behind and you've got people cheering out, I think when you're sat in your seat and you're not getting anything is a bit of a different feeling to have a lot of support behind you. So I think um, sometimes when you're down a bit, you're not that confident and you've got these people cheering for you, then I, I certainly think that that can add an extra bit of uh, incentive to your game. Of course, you have nine ranking titles, as we say. If you have one more, you'll join a, a group of players who have, who, have, who have won 10. You'd be the 10th player to do that. But in terms of triple crown success, some, some would say that you, you still need to prove yourself a little bit. Is that is that something that you, you accept and you relish that, that challenge? Yeah, I, I know I need to kind of do not, not do better, but just win, I think, in these big events. So I've, I've proved I can get to sort of the semi-final, final stage of all of them. Just getting over that line, I think, is um, makes a huge difference. I think um, when you get to these sort of the, the three main events, it's probably more rewarding to be a little bit more inconsistent, lose early and then win the big ones rather than sort of get to the quarter semi-final stage every time because you're not going to be remembered for that. So I think um, I'll be trying my best in every, every event I play in and hopefully over the next couple of seasons I can kind of pick off the Masters World Championship, it'd be nice and then that's all done with, I've got that out of the way and I can just kind of relax. And on the subject of Triple Crowns, you know, we're off to York next and do you go there with, with fond memories of 2011, is that in your mind when you go there or are you kind of in 2018 mode? Uh, you do kind of draw on sort of um, previous memories when you need to, I think it's, it's always good to have been there, done it, I think. You know, it's all about winning on that kind of stage. But yeah, this is a different year. I think um, my game is improving at the moment. I certainly think I put a lot of hard work in this season and it's starting to show off. It would be nice to do it on sort of a, a real worldwide stage in the, in the uh, UK Championship. And to win back-to-back -back ranking titles would be some statement of intent. Yeah, I've got close a couple of times, but it'd be nice to sort of, when, when you're on a roll, you don't want it to stop because um, I think everyone sort of has little spells nowadays when the season's so long, you're always going to be up and down a little bit and obviously for me I just want to keep that going as long as possible with the Masters coming up as well straight after that so it would be nice to sort of keep my confidence until then. And best of luck Jeff. Thanks a lot. Cheers.